Let's try this example to design a pet footing with bending moment acting on the foundations. The actions is given in terms of the GK and QK of 550 kN and 500 kN respectively. It is given that the pet footing is subjected to an ultimate moment of 50 kN meter. The design life is 50 years, the exposure class is XC2, and the column size is 250 x 350 mm. The wider columns is in the directions of the bending moment. The concrete strength is 25, the bar strength is 500, the concrete weight is 25 kN per meter cube and the proposed bar size is 16 mm and the soil bearing pressure is 150 N per mm square. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solutions. In order to solve these questions, you may refer to the formulas given in this slide and also in these slides. Again, I use the spreadsheet to help me to compute the results. Concrete grade 25, steel grade 500, exposure class XC2, fire resistance 1 hour, design life 50 years. Column size 350 times 250. 350 is in the directions of the moment, while 250 is in the directions without moment. The proposed bar size is 16. The GK and QK for the Asia load is 550 and 500 kN. The factor of safety for the ultimate limit state is 1.35 and 1.5. And the ultimate moments given is 50 kN meter. The unit weight is 25 kN per meter square and the soil bearing capacity is 150 kN per meter square. First, you need to calculate the concrete cover. You may refer to the formula here, which the concrete nominal cover will be equals to the concrete mean plus the deviations of the cover. The deviations will be equals to 10 mm and C mean here is determined by the bar size. Take the bar size equals to 16 and the environmental conditions will need to refer to table 4.4n. With the given exposure class of XC2, you will need to refer to the strength class of 4 for the table 4.4n. XC2 will give you 25 mm C mean durability. And the third component will be 10 mm. Your C mean will be the largest value of the three, which is 16, 25, and 10. Therefore, your C mean will be equals to 25 plus 10 mm. Your nominal cover will be equals to 35 mm, as indicated here. Next, you need to estimate the base area in accordance to the serviceability limit state. Your serviceability limit load it will be equals to GK plus QK plus the self weight of the base, which is considered as 10% of the GK and QK. Your GK and QK is equals to 1050 kN as the summations of 550 and 500. Assuming the self weight of the footing is 10% of the service load, you will use 1.1 times this actual load divided by the allowable bearing capacity of the soil. The bearing capacity of the soil here is given as 150 Newton per mm square. 
This will give you an estimated area of 7.7 .7 meters square. Now you need to propose the size of the footing. Taking the size equals to 2.5 meters times 3.5 meters, you will get an area of 8.75, which is greater than 7.7 .7 meters square. Assume the height of the base is equal to 650. You will be able to determine the self weight of the footing, which is slightly higher than the estimated 10% of the Asia load. Theoretically, you will have to recheck the estimated self weight to see if the provided area is sufficient. Seems that there is some difference between the provided area and the required area. You might need not to revise your estimations because at the end of the day, you will need to check the stress again. As long as your final outcome of the checking is passed, you should have no issue with the settlement. As a guide for you to estimate the thickness, you can use this formula which is obtained by ultimate Asia loop divided by the shear stress times the perimeter for the column punching shear. From the D obtained here, plus the nominal cover and 1.5 times the bar size, that will be the estimated H of the head foundations. Since that there are moments within the sections, you will expect the bearing stress to be something like this. You can use these equations for you to estimate the bearing stress acting on the pad foundations. Adopt the equations. Your Asia loop plus the self weight as calculated from the size of the sections divided by the total area of the footing to be plus minus with my per i as the soil pressure here is calculated on the basis of serviceability limit state the m here should be the moment of the serviceability limit state However, the question gives you the ultimate moment equals to 50 kN per meter. You can convert it into serviceability moment by dividing with an estimated factor of safety of 1.4. That gives you 35.7 kN meter. The Y here is referring to the mid span of the width of the base. As for the I, it's actually referring to the formulas of BH power 3 divided by 12, which is B times H power 3 divided by 12. Substitute the relevant value into the formula, you will get two value of the pressure none of the bearing pressure is greater than the capacity of 150 therefore the proposed size of the foundations is considered satisfactory